everyone, it is Matt, and in today's video, I will be showing you how I did this walk cycle animation for my new cat fursona. This animation is an 11 frame animation at 12 frames per second, and it was done in three programs. Those programs being Krita, Clip Studio Paint, and After Effects. Now, since this isn't going to be a full narrated speed paint, I will leave links in the description to references I used, including Tennille Flower's very wonderful speed paint video of her cat walk cycle animation, as well as a non-video uh, walkthrough base I used, sort of. I used it on my second monitor as reference, so I'll link it in the description since it helped me. Um, this animation took around 8 hours to do, and the files uh, making up this video are around 8 or 9 gigabytes in size, so I'll keep things brief here. Animation takes a very long time, as you could tell by the 11 drawings in this animation taking 8 hours, which for how long I normally spend on a singular drawing, it, it about adds up. So, after watching this and after looking at all the resources I provided, if you feel that your walk cycle animations aren't looking so great, they're still wonky, don't worry about it. It takes time to learn things like animation, especially since they do take so long. So, if you're feeling like your animation really isn't up to par, don't worry. Keep chipping away at it, keep fine-tuning it, and make new animations. You'll get better with time, I promise. If I could show you my animations from 2016 that were of walk cycles, you would see that I was not in a very swell place with figuring out how to do it. So, don't worry about it. Don't force yourself to get better. Just let it happen naturally. And don't forget to look at references and videos of animals walking, because that's what's going to help you learn. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'll let the music fade in now, so thank you for listening to me ramble on, and, uh, enjoy! <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you.